Blessings, brothers and sisters. Uh, I just I came out of a surgery, not like in five minutes, five minutes ago, but um, a few hours ago. Uh, I'm, I'm calming down from the medication. Um, I had to uh, do some surgery uh, here on my neck uh, and in other places, um, but it was a success. Um, they always ruin it when they would wake you up from good anesthesia, good rest, uh, which has never been in my life <laughs> a luxury, a good rest. I couldn't go to sleep last night. It's just surgery to me means, oh, I get to have good rest. It, it might scare the bejesus out of other people, but to me, I'm looking forward to the rest due to the medication, which I'm very anti-medication. But it was, um, it went well. Um um i'm calming down from being heavily under the influence of of it uh but all glory to god now that that's finally out of out of the way uh it's all about uh the fall feast uh and i wanted to come on uh just to once again first and foremost encourage you guys to really pray about the fall feast and really part partake in the fall feast uh this year um if there's anybody who's interested, you know, please reach out, email, or, or down below. I don't catch a lot of fish with Fall Feast, which is unfortunate. Uh, that's that's all we're going to be doing in the kingdom uh, is really honoring Sabbath and Holy, what's the Holy Feast Days uh, here upon earth. Like we're really going to be joining, taking part of these holy uh you know consecrated uh gatherings so this is good practice while we're you know down here and in this vessel although um many churches do not you know teach it i've never heard of 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 really honoring sabbath or keeping any uh holy day passover pentecost feast of trumpets day of atonement uh feast of tabernacles um i've never really heard of any of those things growing up in the church so um if you are not in a denominational church uh and you are uh really getting to know father on your own uh please pray about the file feast because i i feel not i feel because i don't want y'all to mistake flesh uh dictating me but uh what father is revealing to me is um the importance of it the, the, in in a way that I've never really gotten before uh, or any year honoring the fall feast is really important the gathering uh, he's really going to move on our behalf uh, we just have to gather uh, and, and be obedient to the call of of, of the falls of these fall of these fall feasts that we're gathering onto forgive me um, but uh, the Lord has been really revealing things as far as the end of grace and uh, the seven year uh, tribulation leading into the great tribulation. And we're just approaching, uh, we're really approaching a time of the end, not in a... Uh, nuke bomb type thing but a, a time of the end where the normalcy is about to change um and all glory to god for it unfortunately it's going to take uh severity and things to happen to wake people up and it is um a wonderful time for truly the saints not because you know you know we'll be protected but god is He's, 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 he's coming and, you know, all the things that he said in his word is going to be fulfilled. Uh, and some of us have callings, great callings, significant callings in regards to the harvest where we are unable to, uh, well, I shouldn't say that because sometimes, you know, we in our, in our own little perimeter don't know the hearts we are reaching, um, and how, and the hearts we are affecting, uh, and, and us, uh, really warning people and, and really pe calling people to repent and getting them to truth. We don't really know 
that's why we have to keep uh just keep our faith uh and keep our faith in prayer like youtube really shadow bans me they 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 block every comment i put uh and 100 percent the ones that plant seeds that witness to other people they block every comment i'm not even allowed to comment on other channels uh they're i'm just heavenly oppressed and suppressed on youtube that you know the shadow ban is really real on my channel all glory to god uh but if i if i actually look at what youtube is doing i would be discouraged and actually try to leave youtube like so many others because they are also too being you know oppressed and, and blocked and limited and hindered uh but you know we have to go by faith because we don't at the end of the day we don't know how many are being uh affected by you know our testimonies and and who we are and we have to keep going we have to you know when we pray uh i would say when you pray to uh yeshua you know to uh, uh to allow your channel your your video to reach hearts then you gotta you gotta believe in it and no matter what the what the view count says or the like count says you really gotta believe in it and uh and just have faith in it so all glory to god uh you know in the in through through what youtube is doing i'm i'm faithful that you know god is still moving um and there's there's coming a time a season to where it won't be like that for uh the warriors for for those who are really the the true saints the end time army it will not be like that um and that's all i'm going to say about that but um it's coming a time where a lot is going to change significantly uh and it's it's wonderful news for you know those in christ not so great for those who are not fully in christ or not at all in christ um and i would be more uh visually happy about that i'm just still under the medication guys but uh nonetheless um what we do now as far as getting close to father is really important and you know for me if someone said you know i want to get close to god or i've been baptized or i just converted you know i'm you know i now am a, a, a believer in christ you know the last thing i wouldn't even it was not it's not even on the last thing of a list but you know the last thing i would say would be now go find a church uh which is a a flimsy word around here um i think it's it's really wise and recommended in my opinion to just go get along like the disciples did they got along with jesus in the full flesh to where they could touch him you know paul got along for three years in arabia uh and that's how i was but i was in a in a baptist church when i got serious but you know they was gonna kick me out <laughs> or i was gonna you know quit eventually because as i grew more and more uh closer with the lord and allowing the holy spirit to move in my life lead and guide and teach me a lot of things i started noticing that you know you know the baptist church that i was going to was it was really just feeding people milk there was no meat in it plus it went against scriptures because i became an avid reader of the bible uh so i started seeing a lot of contradictions a lot of hypocrisy uh a lot of just uh speaking in error and speaking just wrong of you know the bible did you know what the preacher was saying was really not in the bible so eventually i left uh, and i got i just got alone and i've been alone for five years uh i'm almost six now and counting and it's uh it's the best advice i can give someone who's you know for the first time are returning back trying to uh establish or reestablish your relationship in christ um just to go get alone uh with father and pray you start to fast learn how to fast fast again um and just just pray that the holy spirit leads and guides you uh and if you fall in love with father uh that was uh a, a thing for me that you know when i came 
on a straight and narrow i had i was just i was really hungry for the lord I, I i seriously was in love with him uh so getting into the things of 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 one-on-one -on -one of intimacy you know finally embracing a fast for the first time these things were not as grievous because i really wanted the lord and i sought the lord with all of my heart and if the lord was going to be found in fasting and reading the word and taking time out to pray to him those are the things that i was going to do i was going to dedicate my life my life to do those things and i did and i got really really close with the father that way so i recommend guys you know don't go to a denominational church go get along with the father and of course we all need to you know assemble um because we should not forsake this the assembly but you know i want people to know because it's it's, it's heavily taught in the baptist church that you know you you have to gather inside of a building that has a something something baptist church on it in order for god to hear your prayers but that is not true wherever two or three are gathered you know father is in the midst that's the bible um i can't think of the, the the book or the scripture but that's the word of god it doesn't you know if if you meet someone who uh is a christ follower who loves jesus who believes in jesus who actually lives for jesus and not, and who's not lukewarm and you're one mind one body one accord with him in the parking lot at mcdonald's uh you know it doesn't matter where you at wherever you gather and pray in spirit and truth unto the Lord. He is there with you. That you you both are the church. Whether it be two of you, three of you, or four of you. You are literally the church. That's the church. That's the body of God right there in itself. So if a preacher ever tells you. And you know I get why they tell you that. But if they ever tell you. You know you need to be in a in a church building. Uh, for God to answer your prayers. That's, that's a lie from the devil. Uh, no preacher should be. Uh limiting god or putting god in 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 one in one location you know god is you know everywhere you know yeshua died so that we may come to him anywhere we go we are not you know he's just he's no longer in just a temple uh in, in the building he's everywhere uh and he's in our hearts he's 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 everywhere everywhere we are and we want to seek him and we in we want his presence. He he's right there. And in in regards to these fall feasts, I just ask you guys to really pray about them, uh, and 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 research them and and partake in those because those are are really a big deal. Now I know I'm I'm really speaking to a majority that won't be doing it, and that's that's fine. Okay. Um, eventually I have faith that you will, you might not today, you might not right now, but I have faith that one day we are going to gather together, um, because, you know, big things are coming up uh, beyond or, you know, uh, after the fall feast, um, that God is, that God is getting ready to do that visitation. God's visitation is greatly upon us. It's, it's coming soon. And it is going to shake, rattle, and roll this place. Um, all glory to God. But um, for those who was praying for me during my surgery, thank you so much. I love you so much. And I'm praying for you guys. I'm always constantly praying for you guys. I'm praying that, you know, in regards to these fall feasts, that we bring the most honorable, you know, offering that is placed upon our hearts or spirit to do so uh, this fall feast. Uh, now that my surgery is over, I can just, I can look forward uh, to, you know, getting focused and getting ready and getting prepared uh, for these fall feasts. Hallelujah. And like I said, if you guys want to gather, please do so. Please, please do so. You're you're uh, more than welcome to gather. Uh, it's, it's all about, you know, just not, it's not a gathering, not a, not a, a party gathering where we just shoot the breeze and talk about the weather. You know, there is going to be some, be some a uh, dialogue of pleasantries but you know it's really about uh what what is what the essence the true essence of it and that is gathering together together giving our our lord and savior his due his love his worship his praise and and just um praying for others interceding for others uh and just you know making ourselves available for him 
out of love and, and, and making ourselves selves available out of love for others to intercede. Um, because there's only a, a few of us who really know what time it is and how close to the, the drastic change that we're about to face uh, in this world. And the Bible says it will be like like nothing we ever seen, nothing man has ever seen, and I'm paraphrasing it. Uh, but it it goes to the severity of of how important you know our relationship, my relationship, your relationship should be in Father. So please draw near, please get serious, please come out of sin, please don't live lukewarm, please don't uh, take God's grace for granted, please. Don't play games with him. Please give him your all. Give him your best. Don't go to church on Sunday and fornicate all six days of the week. Like, he, if you love him, you will obey him. And you're going to follow his commandments. And you're going to put him first. Him and his ways and his, and his commands and his statutes first. Not your own of what you want to do and how you see fit and what you believe in. You're, it's, it's, it's going to be all about what Father says, what Father wants, what Father commands. That's what you want in your life. Regardless of how the flesh may feel about it, you're going to adhere to Father. Point blank, period. So I love you guys. I'm praying for you guys. And draw near. Get in covenant. Get close. Get serious with Father. Repent of your sins daily, daily, daily. Shalom.